about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for TV. This is morning one of calling a celebration, and believe me, it's gonna be a blast. <laughs> like and subscribe. The day before the cruise, we drove from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to Miami, Florida, which is around a 10 hour drive. We stayed at New Point Miami Beach Apartments, which was only 20 minutes from the port. It's oceanfront, and we were able to see the cruise ships from our balcony. And any time I have easy access to get my feet in the sand is a huge bonus for me. So I always look for oceanfront hotels if possible. We booked the oceanfront king suite with balcony. And this is the view of the ocean from the balcony. The resort does have a pool and other amenities. And it is also right on a boardwalk. So it was really nice to be able to go outside, explore the property and surrounding areas, and just relax and enjoy the vibe the night before the cruise. This hotel is only 18 minutes from the port, which is really nice. We actually drove 10 hours yesterday to get most of the drive out of the way. And this location was really convenient and we were actually able to see cruise ships leave yesterday, which was really fun. So now we're headed to the port. We have a 10 a.m. check-in time, which is the earliest time for check-in. And this is actually our first time boarding a ship as platinum status. So I'm excited to see what it's like to have the perks, priority boarding, and I've heard that we will be able to put our luggage in our room when we first get on the ship and usually you have to wait until like 1.30 and then you check your bags and they come later. They might not arrive until 4 o'clock. So we're actually going to roll our bags on and hopefully, if all goes as planned, just roll them right to our room and set them down, which is awesome because usually we check the suitcase and then we're still carrying a big carry-on bag which is not convenient when you're trying to walk around and explore the ship and we are so excited to explore the ship because this is carnival's newest ship and completely different layout from any of the other ships we've ever been on so we're really excited to see it and share it with you this is big speaking I love, I enjoy the scenery of Miami, the buildings, the boats, the water, it's just awesome. We're gonna love this cruise. We got ex excursions lined up for you guys. So be sure to watch our video, like and subscribe, and follow us on this journey of the carnival celebration. And my birthday is Friday the 13th. So I'm going to party, this is my birthday.
And here it is, you guys, the carnival celebration. We ended up in line among the first 20 or so people for priority check-in. Check-in and security was really quick and easy. We were then directed to the platinum seating area to wait for boarding. So we made it through security and we have our priority boarding pass ready to go. So this is what the area for Platinum, Diamond, and Suites guests look like. And we're actually one of the first to get here. We got to the port at around 9 just to give ourselves a little bit more time. And they actually let us go ahead and start checking in. So we won't be boarding yet, but we're already past security and check-in and everything else. So now we just get to find a comfortable seat. There's Biggs and wait for boarding so so far this platinum status is really fun nothing compares to the feeling of that gangway walk i swear it gets me every time i get choked up with tears in my eyes filled with gratitude and joy every single time yeah yeah here it is Real celebration <laughs> 507. This is a balcony cabin on the 14th floor and we were successful in being able to go to our room and put our bags down before they were technically ready at 1.30. We did confirm that we could open the doors that said that they were closed until 1.30 being that I am now a platinum guest. So we dropped our bags off at around 11 a.m., which was really awesome because we were able to just go explore the ship and have some lunch without having to worry about our bags. And this is actually footage I got when we went back to our rooms when they were technically open at 1.30. It was really nice to already have our suitcases in the room since we rolled them on and put them there ourselves. And typically we would check our bag and have to wait till around four o'clock. We like to go ahead and unpack and get settled into our room as quickly as possible. Oh, it's actually cold. The past few ships we were on, it was just a cooler, but this is actually cool. And here's some water. I ordered one case of water to the room and it was $10. I usually order two when they were $5 each, but they raised the price, so I just got one this time. A lot of closet space. Look, the TV says, welcome aboard Melinda and Darren. The most important part is the balcony. Yeah, well, it's different than you know about. Okay. So it says slide. I really love this sliding door feature. It was so much nicer than the older ships that have those really heavy doors that you have to push and they slam closed. For lunch, I had my favorite and my typical go-to lunch for Carnival Cruises, which is the Blue Iguana Cantina burrito and a salad. And Biggs had a veggie burger from Guy's Burger. Yes, I love foosball. It's Two so much one. fun. Two one. Let's go. Booming bigs. We're on a carnival celebration. We're just walking around enjoying ourselves. This is the first night, so we're going to be doing a little filming, but tonight we're just really going to just look at the ship, enjoy the ship. That's the roller coaster. And that would be the roller coaster that just went by like zoom. And um, just enjoy ourselves and have a good time. And yeah. take you guys on this journey. We want you guys to see everything that we see. We're going to show it all to you. Watch. This is the first look at the Lido Deck Center Pool and Seaside Theater area. And this is the ultimate playground area, which includes the Bolt roller coaster, ropes course, sports court, waterworks, and mini golf, all of which are included besides the Bolt roller coaster, which is $15 per person per ride. And you need to book that through the Carnival Hub app to choose your arrival time.
And look at this adults only serenity area. This is the largest I've ever seen on any carnival ship before. There are so many padded loungers and beds in this area. And look at this view of Miami. We did the free spa tour that is offered on the first day so that we could get inside the spa area and get some footage. It's a really beautiful spa and they have so many different services to offer. Our plan was just to take a tour but I did end up booking some acupuncture appointments. Next, it was time for the sail away party on the Lido deck. For dinner, we ate at Chebang, which is one of the many food options on the cruise. I would like to introduce myself and my team. My name is Ilhan. I'm your chicken maitri. This is the menu and they marked all of the vegan or could be made vegan items for us. There is also the option to pre-order the day before a chef's choice vegan dish. I got the mandarin salad and Biggs got the simple green salad. We both really love the dressing. And this is the mapo tofu, which we like the flavor of, but it was kind of soft. Rice and broccoli. And Biggs got the same thing with the addition of this delicious bean dish. After dinner, we did a bit more walking around, exploring, and hanging out around the ship. We didn't get footage of every single thing we did on the cruise, so that's all I have for day one. Day two, we got up around 5 a.m. to get footage of the ship while not too many other people were up and walking around. I will definitely be creating a full Carnival Celebration ship tour as well with extended footage and more details than provided in this video. This is just a quick preview of some of the areas that we didn't show you on day one.
Next, I enjoyed some fruit for breakfast and read a book on the balcony. I actually did this almost every day. Relaxing on the balcony is one of my favorite things to do on a cruise. Then we made our way out to the Lido deck for some line dances before lunch. For lunch, we found a few items we could eat on the Lido buffet, including some rice and pasta. Biggs also had a burrito from Blue Iguana Cantina and some fries from Time Fries. Then I had an acupuncture appointment at the Cloud Nine Spa before having some fun at the casino. Three born spins of water. Oh, you got you unlocked something. You unlocked again. All right. You're unlocking more spaces up there. Oh yeah. For dinner, we ate at the main dining room and we ordered the chef's choice vegan dish. The pasta and veggies were so good. For dessert, it was this strawberry pie crumble dish that we also really enjoyed. And then we made our way out to the 80s rock and glow party. Day three, we were at Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. We actually don't have an excursion plan for today. We're just gonna walk around the port, so we'll show you guys what we see.
stopped at the cafe and got an espresso shot of organic locally grown coffee. I bought a bag of the beans. This coffee is delicious. It's awesome. When we got back on the ship, I enjoyed a salad and burrito from our balcony before my acupuncture appointment at the Cloud9 Spa. And then we had some fun at the casino. Three more games you got. Four more games. Yeah. Get the wound. And that's, you need a wound, but that's simple. That's the best one, I think. That's the one. That, that might be fun. Oh, yeah. I love when oh, they oh. move it. 15 bucks. I think that's the best symbol right there. See, you can get that with a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Bonus in the bonus. That would have been good if that one in your way. Yeah. For dinner, we found some rice and vegetables on the Lido Buffet and later enjoyed some cheeseless pizza as a late night snack on a bed on the Lido deck. And we watched the movie Maverick at the Seaside Theater. Today we are at the cruise port of San Juan, Puerto Rico. We came here on the carnival celebration. We have a really exciting shore excursion to share with you guys today. The last time we visited this port, we walked all around old San Juan. And I do have a video of that experience, which I will link in the description if you'd like to check it out. But for today, it's time to head to the rainforest. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Bombay San Juan this morning. We about to go to the rainforest, we about to go to the river, and to the beach, and get some food. So Nature here. walk, river pools, and beach. They got pools in the river. I'm gonna be up in there. This is Chance, this is Paul Paul's building, and I might be swimming with the fish this day. It's not even saying Paul's building that I am. We brought our snorkel stuff because we're hoping that we can snorkel from the beach. I mean, I'm sure you can, but we're hoping that the water is clear and that there are fish to see. Cause I'm gonna have some fun. Yeah, I'm excited to see the rainforest. We booked this excursion directly through Carnival and were pleasantly surprised that there were only around 15 other people on this tour. The tour started with a 45 minute guided bus ride from the cruise port to El Junque National Forest. When we arrived at the rainforest, it was time for a really enjoyable nature walk and time at the river pools. Do 
him on a big one. On the tree. Oh my gosh. Next, we were dropped off at the beach for a few hours. There were a lot of local restaurants and bars on this strip where we were able to find some really good local vegan food. I got that good vegan food right here. This is eggplant carrot and potato soup with plantain and Creole sauce on top so this is something we've never tried before a local Puerto Rican vegan dish look at this amazing iguana big spotted you guys he's so big so cool he's just chilling look look what he's doing Overall, we had an amazing time at the Port of San Juan. We are really happy with the shore excursion that we chose. It was one of the longest and most enjoyable cruise shore excursions that we've ever purchased. It might even be my second favorite of all time. It didn't feel rushed and there wasn't too many people on this excursion, but the water wasn't clear enough for snorkeling at this specific beach. 
So that was the only slight disappointment, but otherwise we really enjoyed it. We would definitely recommend it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. we were at St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. This is one of our favorite ports. It's so beautiful here. We actually had a snorkeling shore excursion, but it wasn't until 1230. So we had plenty of time to have some fun around the ship, play some mini golf, walk around the port, do a little bit of shopping, and film it all to share with you. purchased a bag of their signature coffee this is a single serve um, pour over for travel so I thought I would give one of these a try later tonight we actually found this place we were across the street and I would look I was looking for a, a coffee shop and the lady directed me down the street and I looked across the street and I saw coffee roasters and wow was I happy so we went in there it's a very nice size operation they have here like they import and roast their own beans so they get a better deal. They're grown at a higher elevation. So I hope I love this coffee. I'm gonna really have a great day. I have a cup here. Next we're off to roam around the island and see what we can find. Last time we were here there were roosters and chickens everywhere. So we're gonna go and see if we can find the roosters again. This shop if you're looking for it is right across from the cruise port where all the shops are. You just leave and cross the street. You can see the cruise ships back there.
we went inside the Body Glove Surf Shop right inside the port shopping. Biggs found some great deals on some swim shirts. We also met the owner who was really nice. So definitely check out this store if you come to St. Thomas on your next cruise. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I love this color. <laughs> this color is never faded. Yeah, amazing. I like that color. I like the black too though. <laughs> I'm gonna model this picture. Give me a picture. All right. Give me this picture. Oh yeah. Next, we spotted a rooster, and then we decided to try our luck at a few lottery tickets, which we didn't win, but it was worth a shot, and we actually ran into other YouTubers in this area. Their channel is The Traveling Type, so definitely check them out if you're interested in travel videos, which you probably are if you're watching this one. We thought it was pretty fun to run into other travel YouTubers in St. Thomas. So we wanted to share that with you guys. Next, it was time for our snorkeling excursion, which was so much fun. We purchased the excursion directly through Carnival. It's the Christmas Cove Raisin Reefs Snorkeling by Powercat with Rum Punch Party. The waiting area for this excursion was right outside of the ship. Immediately we noticed that there were going to be a lot of people on this excursion, which is typical for carnival booked snorkeling excursions. If you're looking for something more intimate, you might consider looking for an excursion outside of your cruise line. When we came to St. Thomas in the past, we used Viator to find an eco tour company. That tour only had around 15 people compared to 100 and was around five hours compared to two and a half hours for around the same price. We did kayaking, a nature trail walk, hermit crab island, and snorkeling through the mangroves. I will leave a link to that video in the description if you want to check that out. But for today's video, I will be talking about the Christmas Cove excursion, which was also a lot of fun. It started with a beautiful scenic boat ride to Christmas Cove. Then we had fun snorkeling and even saw turtles and stingray, which you will see later in the video. Then we had a rum punch party on the way back to the cruise ship. Overall, we had a ton of fun on the excursion and a really great time at the Port of St. Thomas. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.
later, we watched The Woman King at the Seaside Theater. Hey, what's up? It's Boom from Boom Biggs. It's Boom? I meant shit. <laughs> it's Biggs from Boom and Biggs. What's up? Yeah! Day six on our carnival celebration cruise was also Big's birthday. So let me show you guys some of the stuff we did to celebrate on this beautiful day at sea. We went to the Pixels Gallery to pick up some free stuff, including our carnival celebration pins and a VIFP koozie. And Big's also purchased a new lanyard. Biggs got him a nice new Carnival Celebration inaugural season lanyard with some nice pins. We're gonna go home and put more pins on it. Yeah. And next soon I'm gonna have a platinum card in here. Yep. And then I already got a platinum card. Yep. So soon I'm gonna have one. People in there ready to play bingo. In the water. You can see the ocean behind it. We tried the laundry service for the first time. One of the perks of being platinum is you do get three bags of laundry done for free on each cruise. You just fill up these paper bags and fill out this form and leave everything outside of your door. We did also call our room store and give him a heads up and they wash, dry, fold and return it back to your room when it's done. This is the Pixels area where there are many stations set up to have your pictures taken. And then there are the areas where you can look at the photos on tablets. You can also look at them from the TV in your room and the Carnival Hub app on your phone. We absolutely love this about the newer ships because if any of you have been on the older Carnival ships, you know that they print out all of the photos and any photos that you don't purchase for $20 each are thrown away. For dinner we ate in the main dining room and had the chef's choice vegan dish which was a vegan pot pie with different vegetables inside which was actually pretty good. The last day we spent relaxing around the boat, packing our stuff to go home and filming a few videos. back right here yep hey another cool feature that carnival celebration has is an ironing room <laughs> 